Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to install Ubuntu Server 22.10 step by step. Myself, Mohammed Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Well, to install Ubuntu Server 22.10, I'm going to use VMware. You can use VMware, VirtualBox, or you can directly install your Ubuntu Server onto your machines because the step is same. So in my VMware, first of all, I'll create a new virtual machine. After that, I'll go with the option that says I will install the operating system later and click on next. From here, make sure to go with Linux and in terms of version, I'll select Ubuntu 64-bit because my system is 64-bit. After that, click on next. From here, I have to select the location where I want to install my Ubuntu server. So I'll just browse it and I'll go to the directory where I want to have my Ubuntu server 22.10 installed. In my D directory, I'll create a new folder and I'll install that one in there. After that, you can name your virtual machine anything. I'll name it as server 22.10. And then I'll click on next. From here, assign the disk size to your server. I'm okay with the default one. You can have any value as per the availability of your resources. Here, it is asking you if you want to have your virtual disk as a single file or if you want to keep it in multiple files. I'll go with the multiple option and then I'll just click on next. From here, we need to customize hardware options because I want to have a little bit of more RAM for my server then i'll go with the processor i'll go with three of them and in terms of cd or iso file just click on use iso image file and click on browse go to the directory where you have your iso file for your ubuntu server here it is i'll just double click on it and we are done with everything in terms of creating our virtual machine now i'll just click on close and i'll click on finish to start the installation process we just need to select the virtual machine that we have just created and after that click on this power on button or click on play virtual machine i'll just click on play virtual machine option and it will start my virtual machine in which i have my ubuntu server 22.10 from here select the first option and just hit enter because we want to install it here the boot process has started and my system is checking all the boot things because it requires to check if there are any problem with the hardware, peripheral devices, resources and the operating system itself. And as you can see, we are getting the OK message. It means there is no problem. After it is done with checking everything, it will show you the screen. From here, it is asking you to have your language. I'm OK with the English and just hit enter. From here, it is asking about the keyboard configuration. If you want to change it, you can do so. I'm OK with the default one. And let's say you want to change it. Press your tab key and go to your language option. And from here, you can press your space key. It will give you different options. After selecting a particular one, press enter and then press your tab key. Again, it will allow you to move through your options. I'll go with the done option now. From here, it is asking about the type of installation we want to do. Either we can go for the Ubuntu server it is the default one and it will contain all the set of packages that we need to have. Then we have Ubuntu server minimized. It means it will have small runtime footprints or you can say unlimited packages. And down here we have additional options. If you are not pro or if you do not know about these things, do not worry. Just go with the default option and hit enter with your done option. Now, from here it is asking about the network connection. Do not worry, leave everything as it is and just hit enter to go with the done option. It is asking about the configuration proxy. Do not worry, just hit enter and leave it as it is. Again hit enter and now it will ask you about your guided storage configuration. Basically it is asking if you want to have your entire disk used for the installation process or if you have any other location where you want to install your Ubuntu. I'll go with the first option so I'll press my tab key and after that I'll go with the done option. Now, here we have the summary. I'm okay with it. So I'll press enter. Now it is asking for the confirmation. I'll go with the continue. 
Now here we need to have some of the information for our machine. After that, your server name. I'll go with server 2210. Now you have to pick your username. I'll again go with Zubair. And in terms of password, I'll have my password. I'll confirm it. And then I'll just go with the done option. Now it is asking if we want to install OpenSSH server. Well, obviously, as we are going to use Ubuntu server, it is good to have OpenSSH server pre-installed because it will help you to have different communication criteria and configurations with your server and your remote machines. So I'll press my space key and then I'll press tab key and I'll go with the done option. Now it is asking about your featured server snaps. Do not worry, leave everything as it is and just go with the done option and hit enter. And now it has started the installation process for your Ubuntu server 22.10. It will take a little bit of time, so do not worry. And in case if you want to see all the detailed logs for the installation process, press tab key and go for the view full log option and hit enter. Here it is giving you the detailed information about the installation process. So I'll get back to you after we are done with the installation process. We are done here with the installation. As you can see, now we need to reboot our system. So for that purpose, I'll go with the reboot now option and hit enter. It will reboot my system and then we'll be able to use our Ubuntu server. We are done here and now I'll show you that how we can install a GUI or a desktop environment for our Ubuntu server 22.10. Because for a lot of user, it is not easy to use systems from the terminal. So with GUI, we'll have more option and it will be easier for us to use our Ubuntu server. From here, you just need to hit the enter and it will remove the installation media. And now it will reboot your Ubuntu server 22.10. We are back after the reboot of our system and now we need to log in into our server. So for that purpose, I'll have my username, hit enter and then the password that we had when we were configuring our server. Hit enter once again. And as you can see, we are ready to use our Ubuntu server. Now we need to update our Ubuntu server so that we can have the optimal performance from it. So I'll write here sudo apt update and hit enter. It will update my system and it will show me all the available packages that can be upgraded. So for that purpose, I'll use the same command, but at the end of it, I'll just write here upgrade. After that, hit enter. And now I'll upgrade my system and the command for that is sudo apt upgrade and hit enter. Press Y, hit enter and you are good to go. After we are done with this one, then we'll install a utility that will allow us to have a GUI or a desktop environment for our Ubuntu server. So let's wait for it. And now I'll install the utility as sudo space apt space install space task cell and hit enter. Press Y, hit enter once again. We are done with its installation as well. Now let me clear my terminal. And now I'll call my task cell utility. So I'll just write here sudo space task cell and hit enter. This utility will give me different options in terms of choosing a desktop environment for our Ubuntu server 22.10. So let's say what do we get? So here either we can install Debian desktop environment, we can go for Genome, XFCE, and we have many other options. It's all up to you that how you want to go with. I'll go with Genome because we know that Genome is the default desktop for our Ubuntu distributions. So why not have it for our server as well? So I'll press my space key and I'll hit on OK. This process will take around 10 to 15 minutes. So be patient and let the process get complete. After we are done with this one, I'll show you that how you can use your GUI for your Ubuntu server. We are done here with the installation of our GUI and now we need to reboot our system and the next time we use our system we'll have a GUI by default. So I'll write here reboot and I'll hit enter. We are back and now I'll just log in into my account, hit enter and we'll have a GUI as genome desktop environment for our Ubuntu server. And this is how it looks like. Now I'll just click on next. You can leave everything as it is from here. Basically it is a tour of what you are going to get with this GUI in your Ubuntu server. Right click on your screen, go to your display setting and from here we'll change the resolution so that we can have a display on the whole of our screen. So what I'll do, I'll go with 1920 by 1080 option which is right one. Just click on it, click on apply and here you can see this is how it looks like. And now it will be a much easier for you to use your Ubuntu server. 
and along with that it offers you different applications as you can see in here so that was all about how you can install your ubuntu server 22.10 step by step and i hope now that you must have liked to watching this one and you must have learned a lot of new things if that is the case please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon i'll get back to you as soon as possible till the next video take care